Who am I to judge? You know, bad, baby. I'm booted up. With the GS300 like a scat pad. It's the LK. Whip it like a splat, dodging where the cells at. Cause I ain't held that. Good boot, pop that. I'm in a good mood. You need to stop that negativity. I'm off too much ecstasy. The vibe with that shit. Smile on my face, still slide with the blitz. Bitch, I'm booted. I ain't forget they talking about shooting. You ain't gonna do me like Ricky. Bitch, please. My name after <laughs> RP. Don't, don't sound, sound right. right. <laughs> it got the pounds. I put a finger from the band. So, yeah, that sound right. Riffing that song, the white CJK. Trap rocks, the porn stars, prostitutes, and Jay. I got different kinds of play. Some dropped out like, yay. Some do construction all day. And when they come home, they want to get their drugs to take. Who am I to judge? Cause I ain't got no gavel. I be booted up. <laughs> my <laughs> is a shadow. We all fighting on battle. I ain't got no gavel. I'm booted up. Yeah, fuck it. Catch that cell, made that well. We all fighting on battle. Am I going to heaven or hell? Man, that's funny. Will I be dead or in jail? Fuck it. Catch that cell, made this well. Watch me get wealthy. Three point five in a bad world. If it healthy, I done made a living bucking LBs. My brother's having creep. I'm finna be the YYNW Melly, <laughs> but I ain't getting called. For the 12 for the law. Hey, man, shout out to Tino, bro. Tino Bands, baby. Who am I, am I to, to judge? Am I going to heaven or hell? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Tino Bands, baby. Uh, episode 396 of Random Master Podcast, man. We, we, we back in this thing, man. Four more. Four. One. Two. Three, four, four episodes away from 400. 400. Yes, sir. Damn, bro, we need a whole round of applause, bro. I mean, nigga, nigga cut us short, bro. Like, we ain't deserve that shit. You said you get one cut. <laughs> that nigga gave us a soldier clap, bro. Anyway, man, we, we up out this bit, man. Got a new intro. Y'all ain't gonna hear it yet. Y'all gotta wait till episode 400, though. Yes, sir. Man. That shit hard as <laughs> new, Our new intro is amazing. Oh, my God. So, you got four more episodes. If y'all like the current <laughs> intro we got now, you just got four more episodes. I'm hey, gonna this gonna go ever. crazy. <laughs> our new intro, that five. Yes, sir. That five, five. Yes, sir. Anyway, shout out to Eric, though, man. Man, yeah, big shout outs to Eric. He, under, he undefeated <laughs> with the intros, man. I told him. He should like start like some some jingle shit on the yeah logo. that nigga that nigga Jamie Foxx bro jingles two thousand <laughs> jingles two thousand man <laughs> you remember the episode where was that jingles two thousand or was that Wayne there was Wayne's brothers which episode Wayne brother kind of copied off Jamie Foxx show you remember when when uh Sean was doing jingles too oh yeah 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 he got the uh, office suite or whatever he was uh. <laughs> Yeah, the exactly. vacuum. He was like, it really sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, bro kept stealing his uh, his ideas. Yeah, that crack. <laughs> That's what them crackers do, man. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. That nigga started serving his ass them uh, boof ideas. Oh yeah, he was just giving a bunch of trash shit, man. Got him the fuck up out of here. <clears throat> but man, we got a special calling for this episode. Let's go ahead and set that bit up, bro. Man, I'm even, excited. We ain't even waiting any longer. So a couple episodes. It was last year. <laughs> <laughs> we played this. Uh, he's, he's a truck driver. His tricking off trucker. Tricking off trucker. <laughs> so when we played it, all the listeners loved it, man. So I said, man, I got tapping with this nigga. Yes, sir. Get him on the episode. <laughs> So we could call this motherfucker up <laughs> and hear some of this shit. <laughs> and hear something like here, like we gotta hear this shit live. <laughs> yeah, man. So we just gave him a, a amazing introduction. Right. He got hopefully he answered, dog. He gave me the number. Pause. If I don't know, some of y'all niggas childish, man. Y'all might be like, hey, yo. <sighs> I just imagine that this nigga is at the crib waiting right now, waiting to. I just uh, text him. He said, "I'm ready." <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Like I got stories shit. for y'all. So let's go and tap in with tricking off trucker, bro. Let's go and call this man up. Uh oh, it's ringing. It's ringing. Ring, 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 ring. They should replace the ringtone with that. All right, what's up? Replace your ringtone. Hey, is this tricking <laughs> off trucker? Yeah, man, what's happening? 
Hey man, we we excited to talk to you, man. This is Random yes, Max podcast. We got Trick It Off Trucker. We a big fan of you, man. I should have sent you the episode where we played like one of your videos. Our listeners, oh just, yeah, love the hell out of it, man. And they just like was they been hitting us up saying, "Hey man, we subscribe to his channel." Every time we look at one of his videos, we just love the fuck out the videos, man. So you get a lot a tap, of good feedback. We had to tap in with you, man, and just like get to the bottom of your channel, man. So. I'll let you introduce yourself, man. So I call you, I've been calling you Tricking Off Trucker. I don't know if you want to be called that. That's <laughs> oh, shit, to. man. It's all good, man. Uh, tricking Off Trucker, uh, Big Ugly. You know, so I kind of suffer a little bit from multiple personalities. So I got a few people up in here. You pick one, call me in them, but <laughs> really Tricking Off Trucker, man. And uh, yeah, man, you call me uh Big ugly tricking off with no matter <laughs> shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna call you big ugly. I think I think it's kind of fucked up. I'm call you tricking off trucker, bro. What you gonna call him, dude? <laughs> shit, I might. Yeah, ride, I might ride with big ugly. No, big. I'm, I'm yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, hey, hey, I'll take you to one. Hey man, so we just gonna ask you a quick, a couple questions, man. We ain't gonna hold you too long. We like I said, we just like real big fans of your content, man. So we just had to like call you up. And like tap in with man, you. Man, I appreciate it. And fuck with I you. I appreciate man. it, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. So, Real talk. Yeah, so uh so my brother, man, what made you get into like the YouTube and shit? Man, you know, uh I had started off like back in twenty seventeen. I was um still driving truck. That was my last year driving truck on the road. And um I ain't had no TV no more in my truck, so I was just watching a bunch of stuff on devices or whatever. And I started watching YouTube. And uh, I just bouncing around, you know, looking at whatever they showed me. And then I came across a couple of people that I, I kind of took a liking to. Now, I ain't, I ain't fucked to them no more, but they the ones got me interested in it, man. One of them was... Uh, Tall guy car reviews. I started watching him. And I started watching this this uh pretty ass bro down there and uh she was in Miami. Uh what's that whole name? Um Big got the big fake booty, uh Nina Unrated. Nina Unrated or something. So I started watching them too and when I found out people could actually make money on YouTube, I never knew that because I didn't know nothing about YouTube. So then I'm like, damn, people make money off this? And I'm like, man, I ain't gonna never make no money off that. But I was like, man, I enjoy watching it. So then in 2020, in January 2020, now I'm sitting in the basement, broke as hell on food stamps. I'm still in the basement, broke as hell on food stamps, but still, that ain't the point. The point is, dog, I'm sitting there, man, I was just bored, and I just like, man, you know what? I'm finna just go on do some YouTube. So I made my first video. And when I looked at it, that's when I came up with the name Big Ugly because I was looking at myself in the video. I said, God damn, dog, you big, fat, ugly-ass nigga. And I'm like, you know what? And I said, you know what? I'm going to take that and I'm going to roll with it. Yes, sir. So then I started off cooking and doing food. But then, man, I wasn't really doing who I really was, that was just part of me. That was just the fat, greedy dude love to eat. But I was like, man, I, I need, you know, that truck is up in me. Right. And I'm like, man, I got to let this beast go. So one day I started with a, the only video that's from the from two years ago is um the very first video of my catalog where I tell you how to bang a stripper when you fat and ugly and broke. Yeah, and when I did that, that video, yeah, when I did that video, it did like three times the views the cooking video was. I said, oh, okay, so when I be myself more than just being another fat dude eating, because there's a lot of fat dudes eating on YouTube. So I'm like, when I did this, I said, man, ain't nobody talking about the truth. It's two sides to everything. Ain't nobody telling the truth about they got this stigma against tricking. But then, in a way, we all kind of tricked. Because, matter of fact, the motherfucker that's married, you the bigger trick than anybody. Yeah. And not only that, women are bigger tricks than men. 
So it's like, man, I said, I'm finna take the shit I did and I'm just gonna keep it a thousand and people gonna either like it or not. Cause I was tired of seeing all that fake shit on YouTube, not putting nobody down, but it's too much over exaggerated stuff. I feel like people's just tear the truth and be yourself, man. All right. So let me ask you this first. Uh, are you are you still driving trucks? No, I, I stopped driving truck January 12, 2018. And when I parked that truck and they had told truck and they kissed my, my butt, man, I'm like, I'm good on that. I don't know if I curse on your platform for man, my have bad. At it. You have curse at anything it. you want to say, bro. Yeah. Okay, because I, I cuss. Yeah, I cuss a lot, bro. I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, I told truck and kissed my ass, man. And I came back to Chicago and I started driving Lyft. I had bought a car, and uh, well, I ain't bad. I financed it, uh, and I was using the car for do lift. Mm -hmm. And man, that's a whole nother death. I ain't do no, I ain't do no tricking with lift. But the 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 hell I went through driving lift, man. I hate that shit too. So <laughs> I quit that, man. I was like, man, damn that. And when I got in this YouTube, man, I just started enjoying it. Really, like, I really wasn't expecting to make no money, dog. I'll be honest with you. I wasn't expecting to make no money. They were flagging me left and right. People was uh, getting upset. Females was getting mad. One female told me I need to be shot and all kind of crazy. Yeah, I said, oh, man. Crazy. Yeah. So, you know, but truth hurt, man. But shit, I, it, it works for me. I, I ain't good at lying. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I heard that. I feel you on that, man. So, one of the main things you really talk about on your channel is like lot lizard. So, like, <laughs> I know what a lot lizard is. My pops is a truck driver, so like, I got a, a lot of experience like on the road with him. So, I kind of I seen lot lizards <laughs> when I was like seven years old. So, I know what they are. All right. To the listeners, can you like explain to them like exactly what a lot lizard is? Yeah, it's just a broad that uh. She walking around a truck stop selling pussy. Like, that's it. She just a hoe, like, the same hoe you see on the corner in the hood. Just put the bitch in the parking lot at the truck stop, and they call it Lot Lizard because they claim the bitch slither in and out from truck to truck like a lizard. But that's no redneck cracker shit. I, they, they, they slither on cross to just, 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 a, just a whole selling pussy. That's all. That's just a cracker name for it. In the hood, it's a whole selling pussy. That's, exactly. that's it. That's it, dog. But, uh, uh, they do a credit to society, bro. I mean, I thank good Lord up above for them scallywag bitches, man. I really do. I really do, bro. I mean, shit, that's my preference. Uh, y'all can have the good girls. Y'all can have the, the, the marriages. I Give me a whole man and I'm good, bro. I, I'm great. I mean that shit. I heard that. Yeah, I know, man, because, man, you say you got seven kids, four baby mamas, bro. Yes, how sir. That, how, how is that holding all that down, bro? That's, no, that's, that's a, a lot. lot. Of kids. That's Seven a lot. Kids, four you know, mamas. it wasn't hard because I was I had been a truck driver most of their lives. Yeah. Now, the first three that I grown, my first three kids are grown women now. All right, they, they well, one, I got one that's 26, and I got two that's 23. So now they grown, and when I first had them, I wasn't quite into trucking when I first had them. But then a few years later, back in matter of fact, back in old one is when I first got into trucking. Yeah. So they so used to me being gone, it wasn't nothing. And long as you give them money, and then when they get mad because the relationship didn't work and they wanted to go pay child poor, I'm one of the dudes that actually paid it. You see what I'm saying? Because to me, I ain't had no problem paying child support. That's why I became a trucker because all the other jobs I was trying to do, dog, I couldn't make no money and overcome the three child support cases per week I had. Right. But when I got to trucking, man, I started seeing money I had never seen, man. Like, I, I, I call it dope boy money. Like, <laughs> I started touching on pack work of money, like, in that truck, and, 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 and man, I, I had some times out there, I made a hell of a lot of bread, so, but, man, kids is, um, kids, man, and, um, 
all my kids know who their daddy is. And matter of fact, a uh, few of them just cussed me out not too long ago because they mad about the YouTube and they mad about the um my views on women. But like I told them, my man, shit, this, this, this your daddy. I mean, shit, your mama knew what I was when I got with her, but I ain't going to disgrace your mama because I love my kids. But, um, right. man, you know. <laughs> so, man. You said some real shit on yeah. that. So, yeah. I salute you, yeah. man. I can, if I, I definitely kids, commend you, yeah. Man, I don't know. They yeah, all, it is what it is. They in the same city or you just like trucking and having kids? No, nah, they, nah, they all Chicago. Uh, see, three of them are triplets. And I didn't know, we didn't know there's going to be three kids in one. You know, we thought, I, I just have my fourth kid and I was going to be done. Right. Instead, I knocked triplets up out of So, you know, you got to kind of take what you got. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, them the ones that got upset with me a couple of weeks ago, cussed me out and all type of shit. But really, because they mad because I'm broke now. Like I told him, I'm like, man, I got chronic kidney disease. I got diabetes. I got hypertension. I got all this shit going with me. So I'm in the process of, um, you know, fighting to try to get disability. Right. But I'm like, man, that's why I ain't got no money. But that water under the bridge, man. I mean, I don't know. Uh, You'll be surprised, dog. First shit just don't move me like that. I don't, like, they cuss me out, hang up, and that, okay. I mean, I just keep it moving, dog. I just, I'm my only thing that bring me down right now is I ain't got no money to fuck no hookers right now. That's the only <laughs> thing I'm depressed about, nigga. I don't give a fuck about nothing else, shit. I can't get no head right now. I'm depressed in a motherfucker, nigga. I'm trying to get donations and shit. I'm telling niggas on you, man, cash out, kick him out, cuz if I can buy me some shot of pussy and help a nigga out, shit. How much you need, man? What's it? Let the oh, man, know. I... In Chicago, I don't need but about twenty dollars. Twenty dollars get you half and half, you know. Rum, rum, a pad whack in a throat, and then a bend over and go on bouncing from the back about thirty seconds. I'm good, dog. I'm an old nigga now. What's the money is good for me? And I, I'm an old nigga now. I can't be busting all them nuts every goddamn day. I, I'm old. I get tired. I get exhausted quick. My mother chest go to her. I ain't trying to prove shit to this bitch. My neck and get the fuck on. I feel that. I feel you on that, man. But like, we need to go to Chicago or something. Because hey, we got a trip planned. Down here in Jacksonville, bro. If you came to, that's where we from. We from. We live in Jacksonville. These hoes got the game oh, fucked okay. up. They be charging like they trying to charge that hundred ball. They be charging like hundred. They be charging two hundred. But like, when I be listening to you, you're watching your videos. You be talking about the the fifty dollar holler, the forty dollar holler, and all that shit. Yeah, you know what like, you got to understand. Like that here. You can't be talking about no pretty bitch. I'm talking about them hoes that look like the crib keeper in the face now. <laughs> and, and them, them, them anorexic, hunched over bitches look like the night of the living dead, walking dead in this motherfucker now. So you you but, already got a market. You got a market for what you what you into. But dog, they all pretty when you turn the lights off. I'm if you been you could be the ugliest you could be the ugliest hoe over and she find it just as fine as the pretty bitch. <laughs> I, I mean, you. that's how I look at it, you I know. You, but I'm like, man, if I'm going to pay for it, dog, she got to look good, too. She definitely no, I done, look I done good. did that. I done did yeah, that. Crazy. I done paid extra to fuck pretty bitches, but, oh, man, dog, I'll be honest. I don't, if I don't have it like that, I can't afford that, that high price pussy, man. I got I the, shit. you know, sometimes you got to shop at all these, dog. I mean, you can't always go to Kroger and, and Publix. Sometimes you got to go to the, the, the local store and eat a bag of 25 cent chip shit. That's how I look at pussy. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it still beats jagging off. The ugly women still, it's better than jagging off, dog. You know? yeah, you gotta now, what, what's the best is when you find an ugly bitch that look like shit, but then your bitch got some good ass pussy. Man, I had a whole lot of them motherfuckers like that, dog. Man, I mean, I mean, goddamn, dog, I shit. I got a, I got a story coming this Friday about this white pregnant bitch I fucked at the truck stop down there, like uh, 
I can't remember if it was East St. Louis, Illinois or what, dog, but um I'm dropping that story Friday, but man <sighs> ain't nothing like ain't nothing like taking out four hundred years of oppression on a white bitch cunt, bro. I I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about dog. I mean I be pulling that bitch's hair, make them apologize for slavery, all kind of shit. <laughs> Where my reparations, bitch? Where my reparations? Oh daddy, I'm gonna give you reparations. Yeah, bitch, apologize. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I deal with that shit, dog. So. Hey, but you be t- you 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 say the twenty dollar man, but you be balling though, cause I was watching one video. You was like, you paid for like a threesome with like two Puerto Ricans. Yeah, chicken. two Puerto Ricans too. That's back when I had bread, dog. Yeah, I was still driving trucks back then. Oh hell yeah, I used to drive back in the day when I had that truck of money. Man, it wasn't enough for me to drive one fifty, two fifty. That's the most expensive night I had, and I paid a stack just to fuck the two Puerto Rican bros, and I paid for the room and the drinks. And one of the Puerto Rican bitches pussy stank so goddamn bad oh, to God. this day, my nose still hurt from that shit, oh, man. And you paid a thousand dollars, man. Man, dog, but it's like. I didn't know the bitch pussy was going to stink. True indeed. You know, and it ain't, it ain't like ordering a steak. You can't send the shit back. You True know, indeed. it's like, <laughs> now I got to be like too short, all up in the trying to hold my breath. Like, I got to go and pay for this shit. I'm finna go and get, you know. But the one that brought her is the one I had the love affair with for six months, tricking off. I call a <laughs> Puerto Rican princess, man. That was... Ooh, that motherfucker there, dog. Oh, oh. man, I man, they, I, that bitch had me. She, she, I, that bitch, she, she had me on welfare while I was driving the truck. I had to get so broke, tricking off with this bitch, <laughs> man. I'm talking about nigga. I was taking my food money, scraping everything I could. Fuck on that motherfucker, boy. I missed that motherfucker, ISIS. That was her stage, man. You know, I don't get real name because it'd be too many motherfuckers out there Googling shit. But her name was Isis, and she was working at Jimmy's, Gen- no, Fantasy Gentleman Club in Hammond, Indiana, back in 2012. Boy, I fucked that ball all in her ass. She had on fat Puerto Rican juice I had, boy. One of them ass you want to... You know, sometimes a woman can have such a nice ass, you can't help but want to stick your tongue in her ass, man. I'm talking about damn. Yeah, and so now, I'm shit. going to donate any that. money I make off YouTube, because I'm running away, y'all. I said a few more years, I'm running away from home, dog. I'm going to Thailand because I've been watching all these motherfuckers. Thailand and Philippine videos on YouTube. I'm leaving, dog. I'm leaving all y'all, bro. I'm sorry, man. I got love for all lady. y'all. Man, yeah. I'm getting the fuck up out. But see, man hey, got to be hey, hold obeyed. Up, hold up, bro. You got to be careful in Thailand out there. Be definitely but see, do. <laughs> I'm going to make sure she got them at about her early 30s. And I'm making sure she ain't one of them lady boys walking around. Cause see, I don't play that funny duddy shit. Nothing against, nothing against the LGBTQ, but that shit ain't for me. That ain't for me, dog. But I'm gonna go visit, man. I'm gonna do an episode out there. One that's my dream. A couple of years, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna do an episode out there, motherfucker, man. How to, tricking off truck in Thailand, boy. Stay tuned for that shit, nigga. I'm tapped in, bro. Oh yeah. I think when you blow up, that'll be a fire idea. You just go from city to city, just traveling. Tricking off. Man, yeah, yeah. man, pussy. That's what I'm trying to investigate now. Cause like I just been watching another dude on YouTube showing how to get hold down there in Medellin, Medellin, Colombia. All <laughs> them some bad ass bitches down there, dog. Then I I sub to another YouTube uh dude out there in the uh, Dominican Republic. Oh man, I plan on going all around the world, fucking hoes. I'm trying to find out where every whole stroll is in every country, <laughs> nigga. I wouldn't give a fuck if they was on Camelback, bitch. If you selling pussy, I fuck you right on that camel, bitch. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, dog. Real talk. 
This is crazy. That's a, I mean, you got to live, dog. Life too short, That's man. You know? That's a real shit. So let me ask you this. Uh, with the YouTube, how's that been working out for you? I mean, since you've been doing the, uh, the tricking off stories, have you... Uh, I mean, I've been loving it, man. Like, um... The tricking off videos is really what helped me get, um, you know, get monetized and, um, right, right. Get all my bulk of the subscribers. I think I got about 1400. Okay. All the bulk of the subscribers came from, um, the tricking off trucker stores. When I started doing those on the regular and I got a little bit away from the food. That's when people really started rocking, they, like they were feeling the shit, man. And I done had my fair share of, you know, um, people that don't like it, but I don't give a shit, man. You yeah. know, I just feel like if you don't like it, don't why you why is you watching this shit? Like, right, right. I don't, I don't, I don't watch shit I don't like. You know. Yeah, I feel you on that. But your yeah, food video still entertaining though. I think you probably should yeah, man. Still definitely do those because I still. Oh, I, like I do. Man. I just drop. I just dropped one uh for tomorrow. Man, I sit here, man, I'm watching these motherfuckers cook um chicken in the air fryer. Oh, them yeah. bitches lied to me, dog, because I tried to cook chicken in goddamn air fryer. I don't know what the fuck that was I cooked, dog. Lord. So I got a video of that coming in at 5 in the morning. That shit was all white and shit and crusty and shit. I'm like, this ain't how it look in they videos. Oh, uh, but I can't. You know what you're supposed to. I, you know what you're supposed to do. Uh, All right. So when you cook it, you're supposed to like put it on the timer how how it is. Halfway through, you're supposed to hit it with like some Pam or some olive oil. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I ain't got. I ain't got none of that stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got. Uh, you got hit it with a spray. If you don't hit it with a spray, the flour is still gonna be stuck on the top. Oh, that's what happened to me. So can you buy a spray with with Link Card? You should be able to, or you can just put, <laughs> okay. in, or you just put in your pocket and walk out. Oh no, no, I, no, I ain't gonna feel none of that shit. Me, exactly. I don't run. I don't, I don't, I don't run. <laughs> yeah, I don't run fast enough to feel nothing, man. Shit, me, I'd be an easy capture. <laughs> shit, <laughs> I, best I could do is power walk from the police. Shit, man, that's the best I could do, dog. Shit. Yeah. Also, I fuck with your videos too. When you be talking about like your nightmare stories with like trucking companies, yeah. I had watched one. Oh yeah, that was crazy. You said like, man, you had started like your own trucking company, and then like, yeah, your truck was like your truck blew up or something. <laughs> All this shit was crazy. Yeah, I blew the turbo. The turbo blew. Man, you know I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about trucking industry. Man, uh, it's a good ass hustle. But anybody that want to get into trucking and really, really, really make the big money. Most I ever made in a year trucking when I own my own company, I made 239000 Now, that came with about, shit, 150000 worth of expenses. Yeah. But you have to marry that shit, dog. Like literally, if anybody think they could just jump in trucking and make a lot of money and come home every weekend and party and be at the strip club making it rain, they probably lie. Right. Because you got to dedicate yourself to that shit, and it's so much racism in that industry, and it's the it's the it's the fucked up kind of racism. It's the throw a rock and hide their hand behind their back kind of racism. Yeah. Whereas the races I respect are the ones that are standing there and say, I don't like your black ass. At least I know what you is. Right. It's the undercover motherfuckers pretending like they cool with you, stab you in the back. And then some of the brothers will stab you in your back out there. I had two good homies, dog. I mean, we was like brothers, dog. And they fucked me over in that industry. They fucked me over worse than Whitey did. So, man, trucking can kiss my ass. Like, I'll, uh, part of my heart is in trucking. I'm always be a truck at heart. But the, the bullshit it come with, it's like a hustle, dog. Yeah. It's like selling dope, man. Where you can't sometimes trust your motherfucking homie be the one set you up. That's how trucking is, dog. Your own company will be robbing you. Right. The truck stop overcharging you, robbing you. 
you know, it's just, man, so yeah. But uh, it's a part of my life, man, but I don't see me going back to it. I'm really trying to dedicate myself to this YouTube, man. I like I like this. I like this better. This is more fun. I like doing some shit that's fun. Right. This is fun. And if I ever see, I got kicked off OnlyFans. And I don't want to get off into too much about that, but I was, I had made like six hundred thousand off that shit a few couple years ago when I first was getting into YouTube, man. And um, you know, I I, I did some shit I probably shouldn't have did, man. You know, I I had I had ran out of material, yeah. so I was just going on X videos, and I thought that hey, they not that bright, so I do one of the X video clips on my shit and only fans <laughs> had a motherfucking fish dog <laughs> they said you don't get your black ass out of here with this bullshit oh, no, they no, said no, this no, why no, we no, don't no. let no <laughs> they was like this why we don't let niggas in here and I said oh shit and they they banned me off that motherfucking dog so yeah, I said funny, god damn funny. so I'm, I'm trying to get Miss about that life to do it only fans but uh see uh Two time convicted felon, bitch. I always got an attitude, so I, I don't. Know. But uh, anybody ever click my Twitter link? I can't say nothing other than that. But just follow me on Twitter if you wonder if I'm telling the truth about some of this shit. I yeah, I went on your Twitter, man. You wilding on that, man. You doing some wild things on there. I did check it out. Hey, for the record, verbally, I don't know who that fat motherfucker is. I, I can't see his face. I don't know who that is. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say verbally, you know. Hey, man, you was a little wild, bro. Uh, I don't know who that fat oh. motherfucker is, man. I respect it, man. So let me ask well, you, know, you I'm a, do you remember the first time you ever, like, when they tried to buy some coochie, were like, were you scared? Yes. Like, what made you do it? Yes. That? I was just thinking about telling that story coming up, but I got so many, I be forgetting the ones to tell. Okay, I got like two different first times, but technically, the first time I ever got laid was by a crack hoe. And my cousin, who was a GD out south, on the south side of Chicago, hooked me up with the crackhead bitch. Because it was like this little thing between a couple of family members on who was going to get a nigga laid. Because I was an old fat nerd ass 16-year-old, man. Like, I was soft as wet tissue, dog. So I didn't know shit about, you know, I was shy. I was scared to talk to a bitch. So waiting on me to goddamn get some pussy. I, I still went to get laid. So my, <laughs> my cuz, he like, man, I got this fine ass crackhead bitch she looked good so he took me over there and man i mean this bitch was thick she must have just started smoking crack dog like she must have been a rookie at this shit because the bitch still was fine she was a red bone i'm talking about lips slim with those fat juice ass man dog i was in shock he get a hold of rock she hitting the rock he take me in the motherfucking room. Hell, gone in there with her dog on her. Now I'm in that bitch nervous, dog. I'm sweating like I'm going to the lecture chair, dog. I'm in that bitch scared of motherfucker. She did on um, sit on the bed. Grab a nigga pants and yank my draw down like, oh, Jesus. I cover my dick. Oh, good God. You know, this the first time a bitch ever seen my little pad whacker. So I done covered up my nuts. Oh, baby, look. Just move your hand. Move your hand. Boy, that woman put my motherfucking dilly doll in her mouth, nigga. I, I, I blacked the fuck out, dog. I, I was, I just was, I was slobbing this shit. I had slobber. I, I was like, I, 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 I had, I had got instantly retarded. Like, I know you ain't supposed to say that word, but that's the only way I could describe what happened, dog. I, I, I was mumbling and shit like, hey, 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 hey. And so my cousin told me later that day, he like, man, you were making funny noise. So I looked in on you, make sure he was all right, because I was, I was fucked up. So then she like, come on, you taking too long. You taking too long. You don't have to fuck. 
And I started whining. I was like, but I ain't got no rubbers. She was like, what about a sandwich bag? I was like, okay. I mean, I'm a dumbass virgin, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, dog. So this bitch come in there, and she come in with the littlest sandwich bag in the house. And I'm not thinking back then how insulting that shit was. Although, yes, my dick was small enough to fit in that motherfucker. So she bring me the little cheap ass a sandwich bag, the one that got the flap that you tuck under the plastic and shit. It ain't even Ziploc. It's an old thin ass bag. So I put the motherfucker on, man. Boy, that black woman bent over, bro. She reamed back and grabbed them goddamn pretty ass cheek and fired them bitches. Nigga, I was so dumb. I ain't know where to hold a stick in here. I swear to God, I'm sitting there trying to put it in my ass thinking that was her pussy. Oh. I didn't know nothing about what was popping down there, dog. <laughs> Miss me with the porno shit. That didn't look like a porno when I'm actually right there. So she reached under, grab my dick. Nigga, I'm fucking this bitch a hundred miles an hour, dog. I'm talking about, blah, 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 blah. I'm talking about, dog. I'm so in shock that I'm fucking, I'm just, blah, 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 blah. man, I, I ain't never, I don't even remember ever nothing. She just stopped like, oh, no, no, that's enough. That's enough. You taking too long. She pull off the bag. I'm like, I ain't nothing. So I'm pulling up my drawers and shit. So I'm trying to cover my dick because she done ran out there with my cousin there. He done nutted. it. He done nutted. it. He taking too long. You ain't giving me enough rock for this shit. And I'm like, dog, I ain't nuts. So now she's showing him the little ass sandwich bag, which only embarrassed the shit out of me. And I, I know he was looking like, damn, dog, your dick fit in that. <laughs> I'm just like, man, look. And so, man, he went and then we left and Oh, man, and we end up going back because now I'm in love. You know, this the first bitch never gave me some pussy, so now I'm in love with a crackhead. So <laughs> oh, when we left, I'm, I'm bugging the shit out of him to take me back. Please, for the love of God, you know what I mean? Like, damn, nigga. So he take me back, but I ain't get the fuck because some nigga, I don't know if it was her regular nigga, some old school ass nigga, dog, pulled up, man, and... Me and my cousin, she tell her to go hide in the room. So we hit a nigga bitch and why you ain't answer the phone and then all this shit. So now I'm in I'm in the room being quiet with my cousin. I'm I'm terrified, dog. I'm in that bitch about to cry. And if you never cried and whispered at the same time, I was like, <laughs> where we go to the dude? He like, shut up, man. Shut up. He like, look, man, if I had to, he say, man, we run out here. I'm a rush dude. You run behind me and run all the way back to grandma's house. <laughs> okay. And then, but then luckily, dude end up leaving, going sit in the car. So now he's sitting in the fucking car like the police, like he mad. So I don't know if he was her regular. I don't know what. He's an old school nigga. And my cousin was like, man, fuck that nigga. Cause you know, our cousin was a gangster, so he fucked that nigga. We don't just walk out, dog, and just don't even look at him, just walk to the car. And so we went, walked to the car, man, and that was it. And she got two more rocks for free because he brought her two the first time, and then he turned around and brought her two more, but I ain't get the fuck, cause dude interrupted the shit, so. That was my first time, dog. My first piece of ass, I was 16. And my first piece of ass was a red bone crackhead from the, from the hundred from the wild hunters out south. Damn. True shit, dog. I gotta say, man, that might be one of the craziest stories. That's a hell of a story. Somebody has ever told on this podcast. That is a hell. Of dog, a story. real shit. That is crazy as fuck, bro. She brought a sandwich bag, bro. Man, Bold sandwich bag. <laughs> hey, man, I. Man, I didn't know no better, dog. I, I didn't know no better. I just, I, I was excited to finally get some pussy, man. Shit, and, uh, good thing I had a four-inch dick, dog, because I wouldn't have fit in that goddamn sandwich bag, nigga, shit. But it don't bother me, nigga. I, I done slung this motherfucker all over the nation, so it don't bother me, bro.
Somebody, you know what? They kill me with that with society. Look, stop. somebody got to have a little dick now. We all can't have big ass dicks now. And then I just say to all the fellas listening, be man enough, dog. Just you got a short dick, you got a short dick. I mean, goddamn, dog. But uh, God I, don't make no mistakes. I respect that. I think like pornos like ruin it for people. People just think, like, man, whatever, whatever. man, I respect, man. I respect what you coming from on that, man. Man, God don't make no mistakes. I'm gonna tell you like this. What's more embarrassing? Me and my four-inch dick fucking the bitch or the bitch that laid there long enough to let my four-inch dick fuck her. Like, her shit just wants to be ashamed of herself. Bitch, what's wrong with you? Yeah, <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? This may sound fucked up, but if you buy a coochie, bro, like, you shouldn't even really care what the chick got. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Like, I don't give a yeah. fuck if you think. Thank I mean, I you. what you think about me, to be honest. Ain't a thank you. No book. I had a bitch. And I paid thank you. I was woken up by a prostitute one time. I had to go ahead and get my wallet real quick. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let me give you this. Hey, man. I don't give a fuck about that real shit. on my face. <laughs> yeah, that's real shit. I don't pay bitches to fuck. I pay them to get the fuck out after. That's it. That's it. That's pay you to leave. I heard that. But I'm going to tell you this last thing, man. Um. To everybody listening, dog, I'm going to keep it 100. I ain't never, I spent more money trying to be somebody's boyfriend and trying to have a woman than I ever did buying pussy. And that's real. And that's why I don't need that fucking headache because you spend an arm and a leg trying to love a woman and you go through all that goddamn headache and you have to, you obligated to the same pussy the day you die. Now, if you got a good woman, God bless your heart. But, dog, that shit is like finding a diamond in the rough nowadays, dog. And why should I be unhappy? Oh, fuck that, man. I, 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 I'm I, too interested in multiple pieces of pussy to ever try to pretend to be in a relationship ever again. And that mm-hmm. came from me being honest with myself, dog. I, I, I'm I curious about every piece of pussy damn near. When I see a pretty bitch and I get her and I fuck her, I want to know what her pretty ass cousin pussy feel like. You know what I mean? Like, that's just me, dog. <laughs> like, so that's why I live my life based on that, dog. And uh, right hey, now, I'm, uh, I've been in a bit of a drought for a while, but... uh. Hey man, I, I did get some head. Though. I got some head on my for my birthday back in November. Uh, Miss about that life sucked me off for about forty dollars, and she was mad because she kept trying to get fifty. And I got the forty dollars from my auntie. Gave me forty dollars for my birthday. Boy, hell yeah, I tricked off quick, quick them motherfuckers. Shit me. <laughs> He, he definitely missed a 40 ball. Man. Hey, man, we're going to have to uh, get our, our listeners to uh, tap in with you and send you some bread so we can get some more stories, man. Tell them, uh, tell them your cash app again. Yeah, yeah, dollar sign tricking out trucker. And tell them, tell them what you need so you can get uh, your, your, your uh, half and half. Well, okay, $20 to give me the little dope fan off the corner. I'm cool with that. $50 to give me... Two in one night off the corner in, on the west side of Chicago. Damn. $100, I have a motherfucking hood rat bitch in this room doing pornos for a nigga. <laughs> and, uh, uh, nah, nah. I don't know who putting that shit on Twitter with that fat nigga fucking hood rat bitches, <laughs> but it might end up on there. But then if I get the OnlyFans, if I can get this bitch to do the OnlyFans, I'm going to do that shit for four ninety nine a month. And, uh, <laughs> hey, man, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm talk. I'm a, how, how that shit go? I'm going to walk it like I talk it then. Straight and they motherfuckers see for themselves. I feel that. I feel that. All right, listen to this. So y'all heard it. Tap in with them, man. I'll let you, man, tricking off trucking, man. I wanted to, Once again, I appreciate you. Yeah, we thank you. you. Too long, man. <laughs> we definitely going to have to, like, call you back, like, in soon and, like, get some more stories from you. Man, yeah, this, for this, sure. This has been entertaining as fuck. I'll let you plug all your shit, man. And it'll, yeah, 
Yeah, anytime, man. Um, that's really it, man. Uh, YouTube tricking all trucker stories. Uh, on Facebook is Big Truck Driver and it's Big Truck Driver Two on Facebook. I got two Facebook, and then it's um the Cash Out Dollar Sign Tricking Out Trucker and uh, Instagram is uh Tricking Out Trucker Stories on Instagram. And that's all, man. All right. Man. Once again, man, we appreciate you. Like I said, we're gonna keep in touch. We need to like we gotta figure something out, bro. We gotta get like some content in, man. Like you entertaining as fuck. So Yeah, we're we gonna have to come up to Chicago. We're gonna have to come up to Chicago. We actually was planning a Chicago trip, man. We're gonna have to fuck with you, man, and get some content in, man. Like for real. For yeah, real. for sure, man. It's all love with me. Um where can I where can I listen to this show at? Uh the one you just taping now. Oh, we saw a random acts of podcast. I'm gonna send you all the links. I'm gonna text it to you when we do okay. the episode. But like, yeah, because yeah. I wanna, What's you that? know, I wanna shut send this out to my family and hey, I was on a podcast. God damn it, shit. Hey, I, I I appreciate y'all more than you know, man. Man, we appreciate you. You gonna let your hoes hear? Oh, for sure, man. Shit, them them bitches no dang on. I, you know what's funny? Real quick. And none of them bitches surprised at none of this shit. They know exactly how I am. I'm going to try to get Miss Dot that life because she's one of my oldest bitches. I've been fucking her for 12 years. I'm going to try to do an interview with her on YouTube so y'all can hear from the whole mouth just how the, this is how I am. Yeah, right, that'll you be drop, fine. Man, I'm, ta- I'm tapped in. I'm watching. I watch all your episodes. I got a timer on that shit. Yeah, man. Anytime you drop an episode, <laughs> I'm watching that shit. I'm going to have to cut the notifications <laughs> on now. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate y'all brothers reaching out to me, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, we appreciate yeah, I'm you. I'm you all the info, man. Once again, I appreciate you. Much love to you, man. Stay blessed. All right. You too, man. Yep. All right. Y'all take care. All you right, too, brother. All right. Man. Hey, I must say, man, Random Max of Podcast is the best <laughs> podcast ever. No Damn other now, podcast man. you get <laughs> shit like that. We the best. I don't care. Niggas say they the best. Man. We the fucking best, nigga. Hey, Who r- we, nigga? Round we of applause best. for tricking off trucker, man. <laughs> I wanna uh I gotta say, man, you've been doing your thing with the gas and everything. Like when you hit me up about this one, I was surprised. I got more tricks up my bag. Okay, okay. You know the Barney bag? That's what you, you got. Like Barney? That's what you got? The little Barney bag? Yeah, the purple bag, bro. Okay. Keep Barney. that to yourself. Barney used to reach in the bag. <laughs> you Barney, he he'll reach in the bag. The bag be like, there. Barney reaching the bag. He pull out a chainsaw. See, you like, look like damn. How the fuck that chainsaw fit? I in was the gonna game? say, that man, big ass bag, bro. You look more like a bag em, sag em, <laughs> berry kind of guy. You know what I'm what? saying? Oh, bag em, sag em. He had the Jinko jeans. Yeah, bro. That nigga pulled everything. <laughs> that, mother, <laughs> that nigga pulled a tennis ball shooter out of that <laughs> shit. Bag em, sag em, berry. You remember a pair, man? Repair Bruh, that was my favorite life. character on, on all that. <laughs> nah, you remember when Kale? He used to fuck everything. I don't know up. what the name of the character was, but Kale used to wear like a little ass wig. Like Mar- oh, yes, I know exactly. Yeah, he, had on a, he had on a Marcel wig. And he'd be like, he had on a Marcel. He posted it on his IG. He posted it on his IG. That wasn't him, bro. <laughs> hey, Marcel, Marcel, you wildin'. Marcel had on a wig, but wait, when Kale used to wear he'd be like, Jupiter, Jupiter, yeah. Jupiter, Jupiter. I know exactly what Ju- you're talking about. Jupiter. Jupiter. You hit that. Jupiter. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Oh, my God, dog. Uh, right the best of podcast. <laughs> we introduced the show. I don't even know, bro. Man. Shout out to Tricking Off Trucker. That was amazing, though. That was a great, I mean, hell. That was enough for the episode, honestly, but shit. <laughs> he gave us a, a, a great few stories, man. So it was like 40 minutes of uh, <laughs> entertaining. <laughs> Let's check out the comments real quick. B dot talking shit. Uh, <laughs> he said, uh, Ban- what B dot say? He said, Banks will not be on screen for RLP till he finishing taping his role as Raz being a B2K biopic. Oh, man. Damn, bro. Hey, B dot green ass nigga. Yeah, there you go, B dot. <laughs> Rand said, "Uh, legendary shit happened." <laughs> Psychosis said, "He said these guests been fire as fuck." Hey man, we on the roll, man. Yeah, we gonna keep it going, bro. Like I said, bro. Once uh, once that ball drop, I said I ain't playing with niggas no more. Straight up. But uh, pressure. 
Let's go ahead and get into the episode. I think we like way into this. We probably show. like damn near an hour in. Yeah, we can't even like get into like the topics. We probably that rap shit. How you feel about this? After we get done, you want to record as a bonus real quick? Yeah. The rap, the rap yeah. report card. All right. Yeah. If you're on the Patreon, we're gonna do the rap report card as a bonus episode. That was supposed to be like the main shit of this episode, but it would be hard to follow up tricking off trucker. <laughs> I tapped in with Trick and All Trick here, so I said that nigga, that's about to be the bulk of this episode. Straight up, anyway, man. man. Straight so up. So let's go ahead and do a uh, rate that suit. Real niggas of the week, they need their ass beat. They get the fuck up out of here, man. Yeah, Producer sir. Banks, man, what you thought about that, man? That shit was amazing, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna even hold you. But the fact that they, you could use $40 out there, like it's still work in Chicago, yeah, it's worth the snow. Well, I mean, you did hear that he's getting some scallywags, but I'm pretty sure you get some, some, some terrible looking ones out here. But I'm just, if I'm paying for it, she gotta look clean. Definitely, definitely. <coughs> like I said, like I ain't gonna say no names, but our last guest, if you're on the Patreon, we got an REOP at night coming soon. Our last guest on REOP at night, she get that money, whatever she needs, she get that money, dog. Actually, the last two guests, a hundred dollars is cool. Hundred dollars, yeah. I don't know what you get for a hundred dollars, man. To be honest, man, these these women they want their money. They do want that bread. They want that bread, man. Inflation. I mean, that shit just been hitting crazy since the pandemic. Rent dropped. prices went up. You know what I'm saying? You can't get an apartment for less than a thousand in Jacksonville no more. For, and that was at the start of the pandemic. Now the average is fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. You know how much a house costs here too? Neither. A house here cheaper than a, a apartment. apartment straight up like <clears throat> substantially cheaper yeah i ain't gonna put my mama business out there but she got a big ass house and she pay less far less than that yeah my mom well my mom sold her house but i almost wanted to buy it from her because she, Bruh, that she house ain't got the no more she ain't got the house no more fire. but she she was paying 800 a month for the house what the fuck, bro? she was paying 800 a you month was wild for, for not buying that Hey, I would have looked like an asshole. Like, hey, let me buy this house. You get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you got two months. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> your mama my, two months. My lease ends and <laughs> <laughs> your mama. You got about three. You got about three weeks before you gotta get the fuck up out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be move. I'm gonna be renovating. So, <laughs> but nigga, yeah, our fucking house is way cheaper than fucking rent out here. It's kind of embarrassing. Man, this is this. And they be crazy. building these apartments so fucking quick. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like I mean, they tear down the trees. They stay in the apartments. Be up in like three months. I was like, all right, bro. This shit paper mache. Bro, that Kernan area, them motherfuckers revamped that shit in no time. <laughs> yeah, I heard that shit booming. Bro, like a motherfucker. That shit about to be the new town center. Mm, that's crazy, man. Shout out to Kernan, bro. Psst, don't shout out Kernan. Shout out Kernan. Shout out Kernan. All right, Cam and Corey, you hear this? Nah. Shout out to <laughs> you, you hear him? As Joe. Hey, look. <laughs> Do you hear him? If, it, Kernan. if a few niggas heard me, I'll have some issues. Because right. Kernan really a part of the beach. And, uh, you know, I still got love for my beach folks. All right, man. Whatever. Shut the fuck Let's up. Let's go and get these rate these suits. <laughs> you got to rate that suit, my brother. You got to rate that suit, my brother. You got to rate that suit, my brother. You got to go rate that suit. Arriba. I might have to do like a little... Uh, intro video for that shit you know what i'm saying just to go with the song <laughs> we you, cue it up in the we was wear suits nigga. yeah suits doing the uh machata sorry bro <laughs> racist <laughs> i'm dominican bro oh yeah i keep forgetting you dominican <laughs> so we got a couple suits because we haven't did it in a while yeah all right neil patrick harris man this suit is fire oh. this got, suit is fire as fuck. got a little what is it it's a little twang to it he is a homosexual man. <laughs> He's a little he, twang. He likes too. dicks. Ah, so right. he got. <laughs> that's what he likes, nigga. That was like a hard. He likes dicks, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could have just softened that up a little shout bit. Shout out to Doogie Howser. <laughs> shout I out. Used, hey. I, I used to think he was the, the oldest brother on Malcolm in the Middle. That's, it's not him. But yeah, he, look, he, he, looks like he him. does look. For like, the longest, I thought he was the oldest brother. Of I was gonna say that's crazy, and then I looked at him again, and I'm like, damn, that's not far off. He, he looks like, just like he the looked, oldest brother from Malcolm in the Middle. He looks like he it's might be him. his older brother. <laughs> Shit, uh, but he was in Doogie Howser. Uh, I've Kumar. never seen that. 
Ever seen Doogie Howser when he played no. a doctor? No. I think it was like an 11-year-old doctor. <laughs> like, he'll, the episode would be like, he'll be doing surgery on an old person, they die. He'd be like, I'm 11. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, tr- you trusted an 11-year-old to do heart surgery. So, like, Somebody's going to die, man. So, it was a TV show, Doogie Howser? Yeah, yeah. He used to come on, like, I don't know. I used to watch it as a kid, so I don't know if it was canceled or not, but, like, when I used to watch it, it used to be like four o'clock in the morning. Like I'll wake up like four o'clock in the morning and be like Doogie Howser or whatever. Like, bet, let me watch this. Shit. You got a lot of Yakubi and Tim. I'm a kid. Man. He a kid. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give Neil Patrick Harris man a ten out of ten. I love the way you complimented that um, turtleneck underneath. Um, shoes fire. Shoes fire as fuck. All right. Monk strap. You know what I'm saying? Double monk strap. No nigga got lingo. Monk strap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to know. You gotta know you should too close man. to monkey, my brother. All right. Where's Dr. Umar at? All right. <laughs> I hit him with a green ass nigga for me, man. It's a monkey strap. Well, I'm about to get holy in this bit. Green ass nigga. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> All right, this from one of our listeners. Shout out to the homie King Murphy. He suggested this one. It's uh thanks. What's this dude name for wrestling? Oh, the Haitian dude. What's, What's his name? Reggie, the former Crip. Yeah, yeah, he's from a Crip. Which is kind of ironic. That's man. his wrestling name, Reggie the former Crip. No, Reggie, <laughs> I was no. gonna say that's a fire name. Actually, like I will fuck with that. No, the nigga be doing gymnastics imagine, and shit. Imagine telling a Vince McMahon that. Right. What's, I mean, your, what's your wrestling name, pal? <laughs> Reggie the former Crip. I like it. <laughs> Reggie the former Crip versus the Undertaker. <laughs> oh, Undertaker! You about to tombstone him and say, "Boy." <coughs> what I about crazy. to say? All right, so it's kind of ironic. He's a former Crip. He got Dang. on red. So whoop. So this is his wrestling attire. It, it, that's what he wears regularly. That's his yeah. cost. Like that's, that's his outfit. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> Dang it, do you not see him in a ring wrestling, bro? This looks like. Well, the creativity shoulders down. Already. I mean, this nigga's wrestling in a restaurant outfit. The unexpected, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, that's a ninja suit. Oh, I thought he was a waiter. He's got some dance moves in and out of the ring. What you? You got on a booty shorts, exactly bro. This nigga is wilding with these. Oh. Assistant of. Those so knee pads are even out. ridiculous. I don't want to watch this no more. What do you think of this suit? That's a zero, bro. <laughs> that is the first zero. <laughs> That outfit is disgusting. <laughs> they should have banned. Matter of fact, it's, I'm surprised there are no suit uh, uh, signs in there. Get this suit the fuck out of here. Well, they well they did them dirty yesterday because you know yesterday was MLK Day. Yeah, and they had them get viciously beat by another black man. So. Oh, oh well, that, thank God. <laughs> they can say thank God. It. He needed. Oh his Lord, ass have mercy, beat. another coon. He needed his ass beat for that damn suit. Hey, bro. Hey man, almost he looked like he he had too much fun <laughs> beating that nigga up, man. So uh, next one, this is our homie Malk, man. He got it, he got the suit going. Man, you can never say nothing bad about uh, the mayor. Um, he showed off the money with the boots. You know what I'm saying? He got the got the got the uh, Camaro in the back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's big money right there. Uh, and the it's suit, not, it's not the stock Camaro. No sir, that suit is fire though. The suit is fire. If I'm not mistaken, that's like a heathered texture <laughs> to it. Mm. Got the uh, top few buttons undone. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what you do when you got money. Yeah, that's what you do when you got money. True, man. It don't matter where you at. It could be 30 degrees outside. You still unbutton them first three. Hey man, right in front of his business, a black owned business owner, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, yeah. So what you give him? Oh, that's a ten. That's it. That's a ten out of ten, man. I love the I love the texture of the suit. Love the combination, man. You clean, my brother. All right, so this is Coley P, Miami legend. Well, not Miami. Um, uh, Pompano. Get it Robert. right. Yeah, you got to. I'll be telling Banks, right. you got to get that shit right because them niggas they take, will beat your ass. Them shade shit. and brow niggas. They will you mix it up, they will kill you, yeah, nigga. Straight up. All right, so up. so with that said, be careful with his grade. I was just thinking that. So um, me and Eric, Eric suggested this because we was laughing. So it's this rapper. He from I think he's from Tallahassee. He he blowing up in the city and he literally I mean state. He only got one song. Is his name is uh real Boston Richie. Okay, he got the song Bullseye shit blowing up. He, I think on the remix he got Future on that motherfucker. Future and Kanye. I'm gonna have to tap in. Nigga blowing up bro off one song. Yeah. So anyway, he got the he had like a video to like another song he dropping. 
And like everybody else, everybody got on like white tees and a mirrors. And like that what, nigga in a full suit. This nigga got on a full suit. <laughs> so every that's time a real me, nigga. Every time we see him, me and Eric be laughing. We be like, dog, this shit. He look crazy, dog. Like he just be chilling. <laughs> and he, the whole time he was cheesing. So yeah. all like, Eric, find me the find me that nigga in that suit and send it to me. So Joker rated, bro. But that's him right there, Coley P, <laughs> Broward County legend. All right, so I will say this. Um, I was not impressed by the suit. <laughs> Band for Broward. Yeah, we might be. Thank God. Um, it looked like he got on um the the um slim fit jeans with that, and he should have went skinnies. I mean, I don't like he got that knee out. Why you got that, your knee out? That knee out is nasty, especially with it being per- propped up on the wall like that. That knee out is nasty. Uh, but that's also a part of the style of his pants. The way that his pants are is affecting that so i'm gonna say this um the combination of things just didn't do it for me it's not a like i i see the vision you know what i'm saying the jacket is cold um at first i had a very hard time telling was that uh like a shirt a flamboyant shirt underneath there but i realized he had the chains um i'm not a big fan of those style fedoras so those are always like a them future fedoras yeah that's an undertaker fedora yeah, that shit can get the fuck out That's of here. That's Undertaker WrestleMania nine. Should have buried under, that whatever shit. Under, whatever WrestleMania that was, where Undertaker had went against um Jimmy Super Fox Snooker. Mm-hmm. That's a hat. I know exactly which. <laughs> <laughs> when he brought out that buzzard. <laughs> when Undertaker had that buzzard on that. Yeah, stick. man, I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> um, I mean, like I say, I see the vision. I'm probably gonna get this one a six or a seven out of ten. Um, I see the vision. It just wasn't executed the way I think he thought or anyone might have hoped. I'm not a big fan of the shoe selection. So um, I feel like this, man, if you're going to go suit, oftentimes you're doing it to make a statement, especially like this. You stopping to take pictures and things of that sort. So, I mean. Hey, flip me up, bro. Yeah, you can't wear like. Those are jeans you would wear with a a a, a t shirt, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like a, a white tee for real. Um, not jeans you wear with a a, a, a suit, uh, as well as the shoes. I mean, it w- those aren't bad, but I don't think that they complement any suit in any regard. You tell so. you don't dress up often, right? Right. This is a street nigga, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to him. But again, I'm gonna go six or seven out of ten. Right, shout out our legend, Coley P. Next one is one of our listeners, man. Shout out to Mr. Gene Marty. He went old school with it. Bro. Woo! My dog too clean. He went, bro. He went old school. He went Red Dead Redemption with it. With the hair and bone blazer, man. Come on, stop playing with it. He got the mustache curled. Oh, up. Hey, look, right by the poster, letting y'all fuck niggas know. Man, that hey, you you got a ten. You got a ten from me. All right, so in the the I think the third picture it looked baggy but when you see him walking it's, yeah it's yeah fitting. no that shit is <coughs> that fitted perfectly man that's a 10 that's a 10 out of 10. trying to see what the shoe game looking like yeah as far as and you got the horses on deck yes sir yes sir i love the photo shoot love the shoes man 10 out of 10 salute to you shout out to gene man appreciate that submission man man salute and let me know where you got that goddamn suit from <laughs> 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 All right, so this has been another edition of uh, Rate That Suit. Yeah, I know what it is. You gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta go rate that suit. Arriba! Get in the real niggas of the weekend. They need they ass beats to hit us up. Hit us up at mail at reopodcast.com. That's mail at reopodcast.com. Or you can hit us up on our Twitter page, REO Podcast. That's the preferred method. Um, let's see what I got. I'll let you do yours. Man, actually, my, I don't have a real nigga of the week this week, man. Mm, nobody did anything real. Let me see what I got. I just been, I, I, I've been too locked in in this studio, man. I just haven't been able to even pay attention to shit else. <coughs> bet, bet, bet. I got, uh, I got several, man. All right. Sorry, shout out to Gary Chamber, man. He ran it for uh, Senate in Louisiana, man. So he dropped this little commercial on these boys. I don't know if you've seen it. Nah, man. The caption said, bruh, stuffed a 3.5 in a backwood 
and shot a campaign commercial. <laughs> time we Real nigga. Every 37 seconds, someone is arrested for possession of marijuana. Since 2010, state and local police have arrested an estimated 7.3 million Americans for violating marijuana laws, over half of all drug arrests. Black people are four times more likely to be arrested for marijuana laws than white people. States waste $3.7 billion enforcing marijuana laws every year. Most of the people police are arresting aren't dealers, but rather people with small amounts of pot, just like me. I'm Gary Chambers, and I'm running for the U.S. Senate, and I approve this message. That's a real nigga, bro. I don't know if that's small amount of pot. That damn backwoods by the bus. Yeah, bro. That ain't no small <laughs> spot. I mean, that, 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 that's a real nigga. He might need to go ahead and uh, be an early submission. Hey man, unfortunately we can't vote for him because it's in Louisiana. But like, right, hey, you, you would have had my vote, my nigga. Got some Louisiana listeners, man. Go ahead and vote for bro. But do some research first. I don't want it to be another Kamala incident. Do some research. Yeah, and then vote for him. I'm not doing research on it because it's not my yeah. state. So I, I, I just, only thing I can do is say you got a fire campaign video. <laughs> but I don't want to do some research to find out this nigga was just planting uh, crack. He was like, I love, I love, I love pot. <laughs> I think it was crack. I think it was last year. It might have been uh 2020, but do you remember the uh the governor that ended up like he he was trying to run for governor or something like that and he ended up getting into beef? Oh, it was it, Mississippi. It, Mississippi, yeah, okay. Dude, so, man, you fuck niggas. <laughs> yeah, it's like you fuck nigga vote for me, not that bitch ass nigga. <laughs> like nigga, you you <laughs> You're not doing a good job nigga promoting driving. yourself. I, I want to say he won. I gotta do some research on that. For real? Hey. I think like he was like he matter was like, of fact, no, no, no. Man. What it was, he had already, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was already uh the governor like the mayor beforehand or something oh, like that. Oh, he needed to be reelected. I yeah. think it was something like that, yeah. And then Alabama had one uh last year. They had like some beef between two two people. I remember That's playing right. the video, man. Um it was one running for campaign and he was like yeah, man, y'all gotta check out what my uh, counterpart doing or whatever. And he like played his video and was like, "Yeah, he was sitting on a pool table." You don't it remember might be the that same shit? Nigga. Okay, okay, it might. Yeah, one video where the chick was sitting on his lap. Now he was like in a car. Okay, I think it is. I think a, that the chick with her ass. <laughs> she had like, an ass. He was just in the car, like, "Yeah, vote for me, bro." He just slapped. Her. <laughs> he did something. He like slapped on the ass. He did. I might be making it up. I might just be making up some Chappelle show shit in my brain, but I think that happened. We gotta figure out what's wrong with these. Have you had a situation where you, you said me? No, with these niggas like that be running for. Situation where you be like, bro, did that really happen? Like you be thinking about it, like, oh yeah, yeah. Been, like for real, for real. Or of I'm course, just, like making this up. Of course, hell, I got stories that actually happened that I be like, damn, <laughs> did that really happen? No, nah, I, I ain't that insane. <laughs> I just got like shit that happened to me. Oh, like, bro, did that really happen? I definitely be like, like yeah. I got this one story. I'm scared to ask my mom. I don't think it happened, but like I just remember it. Like I just remember my mom just like open hand slapping my sister. I doubt it happened because <laughs> I don't think my mom would do something like that. But I just remember it. <laughs> it didn't happen, but it's like nigga, did that shit actually happen? Um, I can't remember what song it was. I think it was a big pun song. It might have been like a LL lyric or something. Um, it was one of them like raunchy. 90s lyrics you know what i'm saying um, oh, and uh i was rapping that shit in the car my mom was driving we probably doing like 50 miles an hour and she turned on a fucking dime and flicked me like dead in my lips bro i, I don't think i like cursed or recited rap music for like a year after <laughs> that shit it was scarred bro every time she, every time i heard a cuss word i just thought about her flicking me in my in my lips she that shit hurt she fuck you up, bro. bro that shit hurt like i'm you you remember uh thumps you know yeah. what i'm saying she was, you said bro that was the worst like thump i had ever felt in my life bro she hit me so hard my head jerked I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? what did you hit me with that's not a bone in your finger <laughs> I don't. I don't want to laugh at Bruh, that. Bro, I I ain't rap for a year. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, <laughs> listen to Christian music, bro. Donda early. <laughs> Donda, Donda, Donda. All right. Speaking of albums, man, I got my nigga Gunna, number one album in the country, bro. He got weekend the fuck up out of here. 
My nigga Gunna has arrived. What you just shrugging your shoulders, nigga? That, that album was all right. It wasn't all that. It was nigga, not. Fuck you. It's still album of them. Uh, man, shut up. Weed. You about to lie. You about to it's lie. Number one. You about to lie. I lie. Look at this shit. Man. You say Gunna scores second number one. That shit off marketing, <coughs> man. What are you talking about? That nigga did good marketing, bro. The beef like with Freddie one? Gibbs. And it was straight. It was straight. You think Freddie Gibbs got him the number? No, no, I'm not saying that. that I'm rug. saying he that had a lot of. <laughs> that rug got you. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> shut the fuck that up, rug nigga. Burned your brain. Nigga. Boy, stop. Shit, I didn't even give that shit to that <laughs> nigga, man. <laughs> fuck out of here. Um, made one rug for a nigga, bro. Boy, stop. Hey, shit. I, I will say it is that P helped him out a lot. Yeah, that P. That pushing P. Yeah, because there's no premise to it. Is it? It means absolute. He don't even know what the Bro, fuck it, it means. Mean nothing. That nigga like Paula Poundstone preparing pound cakes, pushing P. <laughs> he just said P words. Then like purple platypus. Everybody pee. is trying to get him to make a fool of himself explaining it. So I mean, yeah, like I say, it's Penguins marketing. Pokemon. It's marketing P. as to why his album's number one. It's just genius marketing. It's, Let's it's, go back it's and good. forth, Joe. Pushing P. All right. Let's go. All right. Purple platypus. <laughs> <laughs> Perplexing paradigms. Pikachu pissing. Pushing P. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm done. When we get off, I'm going <coughs> to pay for a pair of pussies. Pushing P. <laughs> that nigga was just saying things, though. Like, what are you saying? <laughs> and then when he was explaining it, like the shit kind of selfish. We ain't had to make this. <laughs> I'm I sorry, guess he bro. did have to make it. But the video explained it. Push a P, bro. Like, no, he wasn't saying. He was that nigga walking around the crib like this. Well, what what P is is well, you know, <laughs> it used to be, but today, nah, that ain't what it is. <laughs> like, nigga, you did two minutes of that. Like, bro, that nigga did it. He was stuttering. I started to say, stop smack. I started to comment, stop smacking your lips like that, I'm nigga. About, I'm going to say, man, let the young thug explain it. I think he <laughs> know more about it than you, nigga. Bro. That nigga that's pushing pee. That nigga was on the Breakfast Club, and uh, Charlemagne was like, so yeah, what is uh, what is pushing pee? He was like, well, yeah, yeah, it's like this, basically. He was like, oh, so that's player. It could be. It could be, but it's not. Like... Everything that you just said is explained as player. Like you even use that word to <laughs> like just say as player. But I will say that definitely salute him for coming up with that because it went viral. Like niggas still going with the pushing P shit. Yeah, even supposedly though, there's some controversy behind it that he ain't started. <coughs> not nothing major controversial. Who, but yeah, who gives? Yeah, it? it's always gonna be like one city that just kind. Even though Atlanta come up with a lot of shit, like when Atlanta nigga was saying cap. Mm-hmm. It's always one nigga. Oh, oh, Mississippi, we been saying, I right, bro, shut the. Who cares though? All right? Who? Nobody cares, bro. They say supposedly Larry June started that shit. P? Yeah, I don't know. I about listen that. to a lot of Larry June. He, he say keep it player. Yeah, I mean, I, I I've heard him say well, keep Larry it player. June, I ain't never heard him say keep Larry it. Larry June saying you to tea. Whatever pops be saying. <laughs> God damn, sock it to me. I don't know. I don't listen to God enough. Damn. <laughs> Slightly Larry June. I love Larry June. I'm not slander, but he like stop it. Good job, <laughs> Pete. Nah, that nigga. Uh, he made that motivational music. That's what I fuck with about him. Yeah, that shit make you want to get some money, bro. Get some money up. You feeling lazy? Speaking of pushing P, these prison niggas pushing prison. <laughs> All right. They made a pushing P remix. <laughs> Yeah, you know I'm pushing me. All these bloods and pyros in the building, they gon' push for me. Used to fuck on Paris and Patricia to that pleasure store. In my hood on six block, we don't listen to no pushing tea. Why all this ink up in your skin? Cause I just got up out the pen. Pussy nigga be playing game. Hurricane Peter make them spin. I'm like Pablo to you, fuck nigga. So I'm shooting F and N. Trying to purchase that new Panamera. I don't want no fucking dance. B could have bought a Porsche for all this shit he had to pay in court. Gave that pussy to a player. Probably why you got divorced. 
boys. Police trying to get behind me. Fuck it, put that shit in sport. All these bottles are popping in the club. Don't make me pop your court. Ain't try to pin that little hoe down. Let the bird fly like a stork. Oh, you the plug. You got them peas. Finesse them out. He a door. Need my stake and fort. In the penitentiary. Got it short. Talking about robbing me from the peas. You love your life. You better avoid. Pushing peas. Pushing, pushing, pushing peas. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Yeah. I'm pushing. Yeah. yeah. You ain't got no pink slip, so how you pushing P? She said. Hey, he was sliding, bro. He was. That nigga actually wrecked that shit. I wasn't expecting it to be that hard. So to him, bro. Yeah. All right, thanks. You got a real nigga of the week? Oh, yeah. B Dot's five year old son for stressing him out daily. I hope that kid just makes <laughs> B Dot just fucking pass out one day. Just Damn. black out from stress. Damn, it's crazy. So, shouts out to him. <laughs> Salute to B Dot's five out. I mean, five year old, man. Why is it five dollars? <laughs> five year old. You be always be missing a shot, bro. I think I can hit this shit. I know you can. You want to make a bet? I ain't bet you, bro. All right, well, let's. Well, I'm on here. Let's see if I got it. Let's see. Y'all are going to hear the ricochet. Let's see if I'm, I'm going to angle my let's mic. Let's see if I'm pushing Penny Hardaway. If you miss it, you got to know they to Buddy's uh, pussy account or whatever you talking Ooh? about. Oh, the trick I forgot. Yeah, trick trucker. trucker. You scared me. <laughs> pushing trucker. Damn. Trash. Anyway, they need their ass beats. <laughs> <laughs> this one is crazy, bro. I'm gonna say, I know this nigga ain't ri driving the boat. No, 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 sir. He doing something worse <laughs> than First that. of all, he need his ass beat for driving a boat. Second, if this happened to me. Is he on his knees? Pause. He just short as fuck. Okay. He like, he's like a 4'11". Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he might as well be on his knees. <laughs> it's about to get worse. All right. I will say this before I play it. If I was this guy, everybody on that sidewalk would have got shot the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck? Everybody would have got shot. All right, so let me see what's about to he, happen. He, he deserves, kind of deserves what he get, get for driving a boat as a man, but this is crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh -uh. Oh! <laughs> so he's, <laughs> so oh. he's driving a boat. <laughs> And while he got his mouth open, one of his homies just grabbed a dildo and stuff it in his mouth. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I would have had to wet the block up. <laughs> Everybody involved would have died that night. And I would have gave some extra bullets to the cameraman. <coughs> you ever seen that one TikTok? <sighs> Shit was crazy. <laughs> so they, they were playing a game. It was like a bunch of chicks, and it was like, it was like another dude or whatever. And like the dude was, one of the guys was blindfolded, blindfolded or whatever, and they told him open his mouth, and they had the other guy pretend like had have his pants down next to him, and he was, his pants was down, but he pretended like he gonna pull him up. Right. So the chick had put a cucumber in his mouth, and the dude was like, <laughs> he was like, what the fuck, what the fuck? <laughs> he take the blindfold off, and the dude pulling his pants up. And he look at the nigga, he just start swinging on him. He start beating that nigga ass, bro. He yeah. Was, he was stomping the nigga face in. Appropriate response. Yeah, cause that like, ain't a joke you play. Bro. I was like, oh my God, bro. That ain't no shit you play with. Yeah, bro. I would have pulled a gun out, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, nah. Bro would have been through that fucking window. That's for sure. All right, so this is, a, this is the nastiest commentary ever, ever on a bowling event. So I got to play it. Attacks the left lane. Tap on the 10 pin. Chris Vides is feeding it out to that 4 5 4 down lane. And look at this pin action. Oh. <laughs> Matter of fact, I seen that yesterday, but I was talking on the phone when I when I played the video, so I didn't hear. I heard the sound faintly, but I was like, nah, that I, ain't happen. <laughs> I ain't gonna replicate what he did, but. That ain't happen. <laughs> but it did. All right, this one is from this, this chick. She said. Anybody want some good Jamaican dish, dick fresh off the island? My brother looking for a wife. How do you know this, ma'am? Oh, you like dick? Oh, yeah. Man, I don't oh, know. She like our brother dick, so yeah. that's what it sounds like. Yeah, that's some weird one. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's I'll nice. let you go and do yours. I, I, I'm nominating myself this week because I needed I, I I needed to be on the internet. Obviously, <coughs> a lot of crazy yeah. shit going on. What was they What were they talking about on the internet this week? I don't know. I ain't been on nothing. 
So I don't know. It was some, it was some uh, space that was in the group chat. Not ours, but it was in some space about a group chat, and it was the same old coon talk about black women and shit like that. That's the only thing I've seen. And for wrestling people, Raquel Gonzalez apparently was in the room saying black niggers. That was the title what? of the space. Yeah, it was the title of a space on Twitter, obviously. And Raquel Gonzalez from NXT was in there. And she said the N-word. No, she was just in a room, but you know she has a history of being a bigot. Oh, so she was in a room where they were being racist. Yeah, the title was Black Nigger. Oh, they caught her? Yeah. Oh. She was like in column like three. The first was person she a column speaker three. Or? It doesn't matter. I'm just asking. No, no, no. no. She, she was just listening. But that's that's the only thing that was going on. And I mean in the wrestling world, Britt Baker talking about Ben Rosenberger should be on AEW. He'll fit in. Like, he'd he, he be he'd be one of many rapists on that show. I was gonna say exactly. the community would would accept him. That's it. That's uh, like that that, Rock, that that NXT community. That Raquel shit is pretty interesting, but it can't be any worse than her liking like QAnon shit. And she got caught like many times like liking racist shit on IG. So so that's why this didn't help at all. So I never understand that shit for the life of me. All right, this from from the homie Aaron, bro. So he got this. It was just an antelope, a deer. I don't know what the fuck. What is this? An elk? Oof. I might be saying all the same things. Man, right, so, I don't know. So this, whatever this animal is, this dude driving by it, and he tried, bro. Watch out, buddy. You talking Let's shit. Fight. Just drive past him, bitch. Straight up. He letting, he letting you know, you too. Go, bud? <laughs> well, now you're stranded there. Dumb ass boy. Sound like he tried to drive off too, but like he bring did. your tire flat. He did. He can't change that shit with that big motherfucking moose right there. <laughs> as soon as he would have got that shit, would have jabbed his head like. Boy, what? You seen how quick he popped that tire? <laughs> <laughs> shit, yeah, I'm about to finish the job. <laughs> All right, this one's from uh, Aaron also. Uh, I say Yeezy slides for the whole <laughs> wedding. So it's like a wedding picture, and these niggas wearing Yeezy slides. Everybody green. I, I, I wish one of you niggas would invite me to a wedding and say we wearing Yeezy slides. Hey, Tremaine, run it back. Run it back with the Yeezy slides. Yeah, I I'll pay for them. I won't be there. Uh, you going to do Tremaine like that? Yeah. Tremaine, let's run it back with the Yeezy slides. Uh, Tremaine, hey, I love you. You my brother, but... uh, We're running it back with the Yeezy slides. Let's get it. Nah, you're going to need uh, one of these light-skinned niggas in this photo. Nigga, is that visceral in the back? I don't know, but you look like you in the front. If you blonde your hair, that, that's you. Nigga, I slapped the fuck out you. What are you trying, man? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, visceral, nigga. Fuck you, <laughs> Bro, this shit hit... It's, oh, it they put the sense. pastor in. They got G Easy doing the wedding and Yeezy Yeezy slides, bro. No, this can't be real. My brother, y'all don't see the biggest problem. I mean, I'm not even gonna talk about that. That goes without saying. And once I seen Yeezy slides, I like he's marrying a white woman. Yeah. Once I seen that hair, bruh. No black woman marrying a nigga with hair like that. No black woman is allowing that group of niggas in the same fucking room. Yeah, bro. Look at his homies, like. If a black woman seen his homies, like, man, nah, I'm sorry. That's a red flag. I'm sorry. So, right. for, and then her, her uh, bridesmaids are all wearing COVID masks. And he, yeah, they like, yo, these niggas are sick. So, yeah. They him, don't even want to stand next to fucking G Easy up there. I'm sorry, bro. Like, first of all, that's, that's, uh, that's Drake Bell. <laughs> bro. Drake and Josh. Yeah. This can't no no way he's an ordained minister. Man, this shit's fake. He got on Yeezy boots, bro. He one of them Facebook ministers. <laughs> These niggas, bro. Hey, bro. Last night, speaking and of speaking ministry, of bro, Facebook ministry, <coughs> bro, I seen this shit last night. This That's nigga Ha Davis was fighting last night. What? And so, he's supposed to be on the positive path. He got tried. Nah, okay. the dude tried him. So, actually, it was pretty crazy. So, Howard Davis, like, he's just in a from random bar. So, it's an Asian dude and a white dude about to throw hands and shit. So, 
the Asian dude, he was kind of, he ain't wanted with the white dude or whatever. So, ha ah, Dave, you know, big fella. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't want that pressure, big fella. Ha ah, <laughs> Dave is doing his old shit. You know, ha ah, Dave dude going about That shit be funny, though. Big fella, you know, whatever, whatever. So, ha ah, Dave, he, he was telling, he was like instigating it kind of. He was like, let's take it outside, big fella. So, they going outside. The Asian dude looked at him. He was like, I want it with you. And start swinging. He swung at Ha Ha Davis. Oh, ha Ha Davis dropped his phone. Wah, 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 wah. All you hear is everybody at the bar like, get off of him. Get off of him. <laughs> that nigga Ha Ha Davis like, I'm one of the ones. I'm one of the ones. Like, he dropped the whole big fella. He's like, I'm one of the ones. I'm one of the ones. He's beating this Asian dude ass. Though. I might have to tap in and out. <laughs> I got to go see that shit. You just hear everybody in the bar like, oh my God, stop it, get off him. Hey man, I, I that's my real nigga of the week. Yeah, that nigga, uh, David, he said, <laughs> fuck that, fuck that IG lingo, I'm on this nigga ass. Straight dude. up. Uh, Davis ain't no small nigga neither. Yeah, he dropped that phone instantly. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just start swinging <laughs> on that nigga, bro. That's funny. All right, this one's from uh, Doink. I think Earl sent this in also. I did not watch this video, so it's a pastor saying, no, don't play it. Play it if you want. Bro. I got to, I had yeah, to play it. I mean, play it. <laughs> fuck getting his ass beat. He need to get shot. Changing something and you don't see it clearly yet. Do I but need to watch can't. this whole thing? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it gets worse. <laughs> what? Oh! Bro, if he put that and on that man. this is where. It's getting worse. I'm covering my face. Most people. Huh? Would not face Jesus anymore. What most people would do is turn away. <coughs> oh. What, what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you, they tell him to be strong. Be just strong, as he's preacher. Physically Nigga. Here, oh, bro. Knowing what's I'm coming. disgusted just knowing he got spit in his fucking hand God's right saying, now. saying, can you physically and spiritually and emotionally I'm mad, be able to stand? When getting the vision or receiving it. And this nigga gay as hell. I'm sorry, bro, but. I'm going to say it in a point just like that. Receiving vision from God might get nasty. You mean. God, I just bought, in crazy faith, I just bought my dream car. Man, look at how this nigga talking, bro. This and shit making me mad. now you're going to ask me to uh, sell it back preaching mumbo -jumbo up and ride <laughs> in the hoopty again? Yeah, because the vision I'm about to give you, whoa, it might get nasty. Oh! Whole church shot. Or everybody getting shot. Bro, I thought he was gonna slap him with it. That nigga is moisturizing his face. Bro, this nigga gay. <laughs> this nigga gay, bro. <coughs> nigga, yeah, you in the closet, nigga. What's the name of this pastor? Die. That would be his new nickname if he did that shit to me. Mike Todd. Mike Todd, you're a sick motherfucker. Um, yeah, we're putting you in the Hall of Fame early. Bro, that's... 12 months early, you're going in the Hall of Fame. That's crazy, man. That's crazy, bro. All right, this next one's from uh, Shake No Fries. Dude, I don't know. I ain't going to say Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Get out the car. 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 I don't have anything. I don't have a... Put your purse on the car. Put it right there. Put it right there. Put it right there. Now be quiet. Quiet. I found something. Just be quiet. Stay right there. All right. Turn around. Okay? Okay. Turn around. Right now. Right now. Right. Will you marry me? <laughs> of course he married a white woman. Um green ass nigga. Oh, Lord. 
last one, I'll say the rest for next week. This one's from Joshua. It says, throw the whole mattress away. Drinking vodka and shit. Hey, bruh, get up. You got to go. Mm. I let you come over here and spend the night thinking we finna kick it. You done pissed in my bed. Damn, That's a lot of pee. Get up. You got <laughs> to go, bruh. He ain't feel none of that pee. Get up. Yeah. Can y'all believe this? That a nigga pissed in the man. entire bed. Then pissed. Oh, Just pissed him a let whole me, piss. Let me get some towels. Man, man. get towel my ass. Get your ass out of my house. Shit, man. Let me take a shower. No, nah, you ain't taking nothing. You getting out of here. <coughs> God damn, bro. That nigga, bro. That nigga was laying in that shit too, bro. <laughs> he, pissed, <laughs> he pissed on his whole body, bro. That nigga pissed. <laughs> that nigga pissed, pissed, pissed by three gallons of piss. Oh, that's a king, bro. That's a lot of pee, nigga. <laughs> that's a king size bed, bro. That's what I'm saying. I got though. you, bro. I'm like, he, that nigga he, pissed on damn near the entire mattress. It's a bro. king size bed. He pissed a full size bed. No, that nigga definitely pissed about a queen, bro. That <laughs> he <laughs> pissed a queen. <laughs> that is cool. How do you piss that much? He was know. holding that for two days. Boy, that was a bathtub right there. That nigga did. That nigga no, drank too much liquor. No way you. I think the last time I peed on myself, I was a kid, but I know I for mean, a fact every time I peed on myself, I woke up. Yeah, for sure. You don't pee that much. <laughs> for sure. I've been sloppy drunk before. Oh, bro. I ain't never pissed on myself. I have been, like, dog, I've been faded, woke up, room spinning, and I'm like, I have to go somewhere else to piss. I'm not pissing yeah. on myself. Yeah, right. I done been so drunk where I had to crawl to the bathroom. Straight up. I made sure I got to the bathroom. Straight up. I might <coughs> stay the night in the bathroom, but I'm not pissing on myself. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga's sick, bro. That's disgusting. Sick. Thanks, you guys. They need their ass beat? No. Nah. Oh, beat that. Sorry. All right. Beat that, right, man. Just. Yeah, y'all niggas, man, y'all make up. This niggas got a little undercover we, robbery. I don't know. We got a little, a little RMP, REOP boxing going on. So I told Eric, I don't think this would be a good matchup. He said, you should box DJ. Man, that nigga called me about that shit. He called you about it? Yes, bro. I told him, shut up. When that he nigga told is me. a child, He man. said it because y'all both was claiming y'all undefeated and fighting. Yeah, like... Oh, I'm just gonna put two undefeated things against each other. Right, It'll be good for the Patreon. For a record, this is the same nigga that was scared of Boss Devin. My point exactly. I told him like you shouldn't be boxing anybody. So apparently, if we do do it, we'll find you another opponent. What do we got? We got we got DJ Larry. This nigga said we'll find you another. We got DJ Larry versus DJ Larry. Want beat out too? So it got to be a triple threat match. Thanks, DJ Larry. <laughs> Niggas up. gonna have an anything goes match. <laughs> we got Marcel versus Lenny Trees. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got me. Got I guess I got boss Eddie Winslow. Yeah, or Devin. Now I got a boss on uh, um, Drake Maverick. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And if Drake Maverick <laughs> beat your ass, this podcast two, is done. I got two matches. I got boss Drake Maverick, and I got boss Wee Man. All right. And Eddie Winslow. <laughs> I don't know. Eddie Winslow might have them hands for you, bro. He's an alcoholic. I definitely think. I mean, he got a manhandle, bro. You got him. All right. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This been Are you a, like this? This been another episode of Random Acts of Podcast. Hey, shout out to everybody that's on the Patreon. Oh, my God. Shout out to everybody that's on the Patreon. Patreon.com. That slash Ario Podcast. I ain't got nothing else with all that said. We out. What up, Nick? I like you, man. You lie a lot. <laughs>